If you're still writing all of your marketing emails from scratch, you are working way too hard, my friend. The game has absolutely changed and the businesses that adapt are going to have a massive advantage. And Hostinger just entered the email marketing space with our new AI powered tool called Reach. And it is designed to give you that advantage. This isn't just another email sender, it's an actual content generator that writes on brand emails for you. So stick with me because I I'm about to show you how to set it up and let it do the heavy lifting for your next campaign. So let's get into it. So as I was saying, Hostinger's reach is the new and advanced way of doing email marketing and it's powered by AI. If you ever engaged in email campaigns before, you know how tricky they are to get just right. So with Hostinger's reach, this tool takes care of everything for you. So you don't have to really stress about it. And based on the information you provide, it crafts custom emails that you can send to your subscribers really quickly and it saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money. Now Reach is fully integrated into the Hostinger ecosystem but everyone can get access to it for free for one year and this plan is absolutely perfect if you're getting started so you can get 200 emails per month and you can email up to 100 subscribers so that's way more than enough. So if you're now wondering how to get started with this tool just head to the link in the description down below and hit the sign up button. Then just just enter your credentials and go through the onboarding until you're taken straight to the Hostinger Reach dashboard. And before we do anything else, you should start off by connecting your custom domain. So just click add sender details to proceed with this. And if you already have a domain purchased through Hostinger, it literally takes one click to connect it. So just go ahead and click. And all of your DNS records will be synchronized automatically so you won't need to do anything else. That being said though, it's best to wait 12 to 24 hours approximately after connecting the domain for the DNS records to actually propagate. Now you can just add the sender information here and I really do recommend adding something that aligns with your personal brand and resonates with your audience. Now the sender's name will be visible in the recipient's inbox. And you can keep the default email address but if you already have a no reply mailbox feel free to just change it to anything you wish and just hit save changes once you're done. And while we're here, just check out the left sidebar and click on the business details. Now let's fill all of these fields in because they're absolutely essential to make your email campaigns compliant with local regulations. And when you're filled in all of those fields, just hit save changes once again. Okay, now let's move on to the brand look section and I'll actually do this with you from here live. So here you can upload your logo and choose the color palette for your emails as you can see and try to keep the look really, really consistent uh, with your other communication channels like your website and advertisements because doing so will help with consistency and trust. So consult the preview on the right and adjust the colors as needed and once again, save the changes when you're finished. All right, now let's add all of the content in. And as you can see, the setup wizard is already bugging us about it. So let's just hit this button right here. Now, the simplest way to add in all the contacts is to just do it manually. So to do so, hit the button at the bottom of the form and enter the details. And if you'll be adding any more contacts, just toggle the add another switch and press add contact and keep entering your subscribers details until you're basically done with everything. And by the way, guys, if you have a website that's built with hosting your website builder, you can also connect it and synchronize your contacts automatically, which is super, super convenient. But alternatively, you can import an existing subscriber list through a CSV file. And it's really simple to do. So all you have to do is hit import contacts and check the requirements here. And while most of the details are optional, the CSV file must have a column labeled email. So select and upload your file from your computer right here. Oh, and also if you'd like to import your contacts in bulk, but you just don't have a CSV file handy, you can download the template file and fill it up with your subscribers information and then just upload it as well. Easy as that. All right, so the setup is all done. So it's time to actually start preparing your first email campaign. So to do that, all all you have to do is just hit this create campaign to start. Now the campaign details come first, so just come up with an internal name for the email and craft a catchy subject for your email that your subscribers will see. Then just hit continue whenever you're ready. 
And next we have the template, which is the super fun part. So let's set it up. Now press the create template button and the AI chat will open up here. Now simply describe your idea and AI will create a ready to send email for you right away. And you can choose from one of the pre-written prompts or write a custom one of your own, depending on your needs altogether. And since I am making a welcome newsletter, I'll just choose this option right here. And look at that, the prompt field gets automatically populated, which is actually really cool. So just replace the values in the brackets with actual relevant information, and then press the arrow button, and then just let Hostinger's reach work its magic on it. And I mean, look at that. This is already looking like a pretty proper email, if you ask me. And there's the version for mobile, also created automatically, which is also very, very important. Important. So you can go through the email and check it out yourself. If you notice something that you'd like to change, you can either send another message to Hostinger's Reach or edit the template yourself by hitting the edit content button, which is right over here. And as you can see, you can edit the text, the colors, and even upload custom images here. And I think what I'll do here is I'll add one word here and then let's change the layout of this element here. And you'll see the changes happen live really instantly, which is super simple and really easy to understand. Okay, now that we made the changes, this is actually looking pretty good. So let's press back to chat and make sure to save the changes before. We don't wanna lose anything. And after you do that, finally hit create campaign. And back on the template section screen, the email can be seen in all of its glory. So just scroll down and hit use this template. Now it's time to choose the recipients right over here now that we have our campaign already. So make sure all the people you want to send this to have the boxes ticked and then just click continue and then make sure to review your campaign and then you can save it as a draft or hit finish and just send it out to everyone so I mean as you can see it's really easy to set up and with the help of AI everything is like super smooth which is really really time saving but also just like you'd expect from any great email marketing tool hosting your reach comes with built-in analytics tracking so to check out the performance of your campaigns all you have to do is choose the campaigns tab from the main hosting or reach dashboard. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to go here and choose the campaigns tab. Now here's the campaign we sent out. So just press the arrow button for more details right here. And as you can see, hosting your reach tracks open click and click to open rates. And there's the unsubscribe rate too, by the way, and you can hover the mouse over the little eyes next to each metric to see an explanation of what they mean exactly. And also you really do want the values of the first three metrics to be as high as possible. I mean, there's no, you know, tricky maths here. The bigger the number, the better the performance. Literally that simple and naturally the subscriber rate should be really low. And I also strongly recommend iterating your campaigns over time to really improve their performance. And also just remember that people don't check their inboxes instantly. So give it a few days if you want more accurate results. And within time, you'll actually notice what kinds of campaigns campaigns perform the best and you'll send even better emails later on. And that is your complete introduction to Hostinger's Reach. Now you're now ready to start creating on-brand AI powered emails that will save you a massive amount of time. Now I have a question for you actually here. What kind of campaign are you going to build first? A welcome email? Maybe a promotional offer? Just let us know in the comments below. And also if you have any questions at all, also leave them in the comments. And now remember that email marketing is just one piece of the puzzle to take your business to the next level. And to see the bigger picture, check out this video next about the 10 digital marketing strategies you should utilize to boost your business. It's a great video, will bring you a lot of value, trust me. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to Hosting Your Academy for more videos just like this one in the future. And I will see you in the next one.